Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today, today's pick a card is you versus them. So we'll get your feelings, their feelings, and then the energy of the relationship. So this could be anybody. It could be somebody you're with, somebody you want to be with, somebody you used to be with, things like that. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. You ready? All right. Pile one. Everyday memory. Oh, everyday moments become cherished memories. Pile two. Be strong. Go with your heart and believe in miracles because anything can happen. And pile three is cherish yesterday, dream tomorrow, but live today. All right. So take a moment. Pick the pile you are most drawn to and uh, have your person in mind when you pick and then we'll see how they feel. Okay, po pile one, if you chose everyday moments, let's get some cards. The Empress, Ace of Pentacles, king of wands all right so this i'm picking um my intention is that this is your feelings towards your person roles could be reversed in in certain situations because I, i'm picking up energy so just keep that in mind but my intention is that this be the way you feel so i kind of feel like you're not with this person or if you are with this person it's brand new but i feel like there's a lot of love here and uh, yeah, I think that this would be exciting for you. Like if this person wanted to be with you, you would be very excited. You got, you think that you could uh, like conquer the world with this person. Like you can, you guys could do anything together. That's your mindset. Like it would be you and them against the world. Um, because I think that you think that this relationship would be better, very beneficial. Um, in more than one way, you know, I think there, you think that there'd be a lot of love there. There would be a lot of passion there. There would be some money there. Like, I just feel like you would, that this would be something that you would really love to nurture and grow into something pretty amazing. All right. So let's see, uh, let's see how they feel. Six of swords, 10 of pentacles hangman all right they're unsure they're unsure so I don't know if they're stuck in a situation already and they're not sure whether they should move on from it um but I really do like the fact that ten of pentacles is here ten of pentacles for me is my favorite card in this whole deck it's it's love it's it's happiness it's financial abundance it's it's abundance in every form for me I mean, it just, it just signifies, um, you know, money you can retire on, like building a legacy, you know, something long-term. So I do love that that's there, but they have the six of swords, which is usually moving on to greener pastures, right? Uh, you know, calmer waters. So... Uh, they could be moving on from, you know, if this is a past person, they could be moving on from you, but they're still a little unsure about it. Or they're kind of stuck in a situation with this hangman here and they, they, they're trying to find a way to move on from it, maybe go towards you. So I'm not, I'm not 100% on their feelings. I'm kind of feeling like you would be their dream come true. I'm kind of feeling like they would love the opportunity to come towards you. But either A, they're really unsure of, you know, what that would look like. Or they're unsure if they want to get out of a situation they're already in. But they're, they're, they are definitely in a little bit of stuck energy. But I definitely feel like there's some consideration here. 
So, well, let's get the uh, energy of the relationship. Four of Swords, the World, Five of Pentacles. I kind of feel like this is somebody you might have left out in the cold already, and they're afraid to take that chance again. Or maybe they left you out in the cold, and they're afraid it, like, it didn't work for a reason. Um, but I'm kind of feeling like it might have been you. But anyway, they've never stopped thinking about you. You are on their mind. They do think about you often, and they would love to have a new new start with you, to, ha to start a new chapter in their life with you. But there's that five of pentacles, and that's like feeling left out, feeling left out in the cold. Like, well, you know, it could even be a loss of finances here with if they're currently in a situation. So there is a little bit of hesitancy and a little bit of fear here. <clears throat> but that doesn't mean it can't work. So let's get some more cards. Let's see what direction it's going in. And maybe we could tell whether this is something that you could really pursue or not. Or you should pursue. <clears throat> Money will be coming to you. So again, I just feel like that's like abundance, not necessarily money, money, but like um, prosperity in this relationship. So I do feel like it could work out for you, but the lion is saying time to act, but I think it's more about being brave, like finding the courage. So somebody's got to find their courage. I think it might be them that they have to find their courage because I did put it on that side. And I really do feel like you think that this would be a, a worthwhile relationship. So again, it's I, I do actually feel like this could be a successful long-term relationship, but it's whether it will be or not. That's a, that's a different story. You know, it can be. Of course it can be. But will it be? Uh, you know, there's other factors here. We don't know how somebody else is going to react. So, or a choice that they're going to make. So let's just uh, see if we could figure this out some more. Manifesting dreams. My dreams are coming true. Well, I like that it says my dreams are coming true. So I think this is something that you've been wanting for a while. Um, and you've been trying to manifest it into your life. That card pretty much tells me that you can have what you want. So now I'm definitely leaning towards yes, but we're going to keep going because it's definitely a yes on your side, but we'll see if it's a yes on theirs. We have to keep going. Mary Magdalene, teacher awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. I think this this I think this situation has taught you something, or it's going to teach you something. There's something to learn here. Mary Magdalene was a teacher. Um, so I think that you are learning something. If this was a past relationship which I'm kind of feeling like this was some kind of a past situation maybe not necessarily a relationship but it I kind of feel like it was something from the past like it's there was like maybe a false start or there was a some there was a connection all right and for whatever reason it didn't work out I kind of feel like you learned either something from that situation you know, like why it didn't work out or whatever. I think it taught you something. Um, or I feel like um, it's teaching you something now, but I kind of feel like it taught you something. All right, let's get some more.
Ha, <laughs> karmic relationship. Well, now you know why you, lo- you learned something. Because it was meant for that. Resentments and triggers, perception, intensity and letting go, and turmoil and fleeting. So this was or is a karmic relationship. You're definitely learning something from it. So what's a karmic relationship? A karmic relationship is when you guys agree to come together to either resolve some karmic that you've had it from a past life or to learn something very important together. Like it's meant to be like you guys came together because you each have a lesson to learn and you're going to help each other learn it. So it's, it's a relationship that was, it, it was destined. It was destined. So again, if it didn't work out in the past, it wasn't meant to. You were meant to learn from it and to grow from it. Now, if this is not somebody from the past, and it's somebody from the now, then it is still a karmic relationship. You will learn from it. Now, does that mean it won't work out in the long run? No, that does not mean that. It means that you're going to learn something from it or you're meant to learn something from it. The swan, grace, you who glides across waters of my soul, bring me your wisdom and light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. Again, this is about learning, right? Help me transform into elegance and grace. Bring me your wisdom and light. So again, this is a learning situation. So... Uh, Again, if you guys come together, you're either going to continue to teach each other things or it's going to be like a real like aha moment where you guys learned from the past. And you're like, yeah, this is this is why we're together. This is what we were supposed to know. It's going to be a big light bulb for you. So... uh, Again, this could go either way still. Like, I think that there's a chance that this could come together. And I do feel like if you do come together, you guys would be strong. And it would be long-term and lasting. But maybe this is something you do have to just let go of and realize that it was a karmic. And, you know, it came and it left for a reason. I don't know. For your sake, I kind of want it to be something pretty amazing children well children can mean so many different things it could mean that you guys have children together it could mean that somebody has children and the other one doesn't want children vice versa Um, it could be that uh, somebody has an uh oh gets pregnant by accident and then you have to decide what to do it, it, I mean there's so many different things a child children card a child card can uh, represent right so just you know keep it in mind take it for how it resonates for you specifically to this situation or and to this person Beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. So that tells me that this could work if you guys lay a solid foundation. Now, what does that mean? You guys have to be honest, open, and truthful. You have to communicate. You really have to agree to learn and grow together, to to work together, to to fight through the bad times, and to cherish the good times. Like you. You have to come at this like a hundred percent and real, authentic, true.
if you guys can do that, then this could be amazing. Two of scrolls, two worlds. Okay. Let's see what that's about. Two of scrolls. When you receive this card, there is a conflict in your life between the outer world, what the outer world requires of you, and how your own spirit directs you. So, this is like the Two of Swords. You're not sure what to do. It's confusion. You may actually have had a number of past lives where you wanted to focus on your spiritual growth and therefore joined a monastery to do so. What? Then missing the wonders of the secular world, such as love, family, and financial success, you choose the secular world excuse exclusively in your next life. All right, so it's saying you've had a taste of both worlds. So again, this is, feels like it's a karmic relationship, right? So maybe you guys live together in one lifetime, but then the next lifetime, you guys are just meant to miss each other the entire time. You're meant to have other experiences, but yet still you still feel that connection, but you're meant to miss each other. So anyway, it's, it's basically saying it's time to replace worry with trust. So, and, and to, uh, you know, embrace who you are now in this lifetime. So, um, that, I don't think that helped, did it? I don't think it helped at all. This is like, uh, I guess this is up to the two of you, really. Uh, the only thing you could do is give it a shot. The only thing you could do is let your person know how you feel. And if they feel the same way, then you're in luck. And this would work out for you. But they might not. Because they're, they're, they've got some stuck energy here. They may have moved on. from this so let's pull some charms let's see if, regardless of what your person decides I kind of feel like they ha they do have a lot of love for you and I do think feel like they think about you oh well we have some really nice charms here I'm going to move this down so I can put them here because I can't reach all the way down there you got home run and you have party. So uh, to me, two really great cards, celebration. And what do you do with a home run? You celebrate it. You have, it's a good feeling. It's, a, it's happiness. It's joy. But then you have the kitty that says, you know, trust that intuition of yours. But I do feel like luck is on your side and be mine. So I feel like that there's longing here. There might be longing for on both sides for you guys to be each other, but will it come together? I don't know. Whatever my uh, my advice to you is, whatever you do, do not wear a mask. Do not pretend to be somebody you're not. Show your honest and true feelings. You want to build a solid, stable foundation, right? But I do feel like this could be a gift. It could be a gift. Now, you have, <coughs> oh, sorry, the flag, which usually represents freedom and independence, but you have July. So I'm thinking 4th of July with that. I'm American. But, so I kind of feel like sometime in the beginning of July, like, Somebody should find their courage 
and make a move here. It might bring some clarity. I don't know. This one's a, you know, it's, it's not a, a are you the one reading. It's a, it, it's a you versus them. So, but if you're asking my opinion, could this be successful? Yes. Will it be? Not sure. All, all you could do is shoot your shot, take the chance, take the risk. And, and, uh, if you're disappointed, then, you know, accept it and release it and let it go. Move on. All right. That's what I have for you, Pile One. I wish it was much greater news. It's not terrible news, but I wish it was much better. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. Hi, Pile Two. If you chose be strong, go with your heart, and believe in miracles because anything can happen, then this one is your pile. All right, so let's get your your feelings. Two of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Ooh, two, two, two. That means a decision has to be made here. All these twos here. If you're seeing multiple twos, just know that, you know, whatever you're thinking of, you're on the right track here, but I, I kind of feel like this is a new person, somebody you haven't been with, somebody you, you might find attractive, you might have your eye on, or somebody who, um, you, it could even be somebody from the past who you never had a relationship with, but I kind of feel like it would be a new relationship, because you're unsure, like you're not sure, like would this work, maybe you don't know this person enough, like, I think you're undecided. I think you kind of feel like it would work out for you. Uh, so this person must be a nice person, or they might be very good looking, or they might might have a nice job. I don't know. There's something very attracted to, attractive to them because you're considering it. But I, I don't think that you're doing more than that. I think you're just thinking about it. So let's get their feelings. Let's see where they're at. Four of Cups, Knight of Swords, Seven of Cups. They might not be looking in your direction here. They might have other options or other opportunities here. They might not even be looking at you. I know that sounds kind of harsh, but... I think they might not even are they might not even be considering this because they're distracted by other things but I feel like they're not satisfied with what's been coming in so I kind of feel like this could really be something amazing because I feel like they're kind of not satisfied with with their options and see, you didn't make a move. So I don't think you were, are one of their options because you didn't even let them know that you would consider being an option. I think you've kept this to yourself. So I, I feel like that's why I feel like this could be very successful because I think that whatever options they've had so far are not what they want. But I feel like they really do want to find somebody. But they're not happy with their current situation and you haven't decided yet so let's get some cards let's get a feeling of the relationship ace of wands page of wands oh okay so i do feel like this could be very very successful i feel like you guys are both attracted to each other and i feel like you guys would uh this would be like a fun adventurous type of relationship where you guys would do a lot of things together and you would like experiment with things and and you guys would have fun and play be adventurous and and uh charming 
I'm feeling a lot of charm. Like you guys would charm the pants off of each other. If, like so you guys would be fun and flirty. And with the emperor, yeah, this could definitely be very successful. The emperor usually gets what he wants. So I do feel like this could be a very successful relationship. But somebody's got to like, and I'm kind of feeling like it's you, got to speak up. You got to let them, let this person know that you are an option. I don't know. Let's get some more cards in and we'll find out for sure, I guess. Good luck. <laughs> so, you know, I put that under you, your side. And I'm like, at first I was, you know, it, whenever you get like good luck, I'm always like, all right, this is good. Luck's on your side. You're going to be successful. But I kind of heard <laughs> somebody say, saying like to you, actually, good luck. Like step up. Good luck with it. Like break a leg type of thing. So your angels are, are, are wishing you luck on this one. <laughs> and solid foundation, success with effort. Okay, success with effort. So we have to make an effort here. And I kind of feel like you're not doing it. And this one would have to make an effort too. So you both would have to make an effort. But I, I do feel like it, it would work out. <laughs> All right, Let's see what else we get. <sighs> Planting seeds. <laughs> Again, uh, all right, seeds of grace are being planted in the fertile soil of my soul. Um, planting seeds. I think you need to plant the seed. I don't think you've even done that. I don't think you've even given your person a hint or a clue that you're, you could be interested. So I think you got to kind of do something here. So, you know, sometimes I'm going to get gender bias here. Um, but, you know, sometimes divine feminines have a hard time um with making the first move uh, it, that's changing but society dictates normally that you know that the divine masculine should should make the first move so i feel like you might be hesitating to do that if you are a divine feminine here and that doesn't mean you have to be female right it just means that your divine feminine is is the sh stronger energy right now um I think you might have a hard time planting a seed, but I think you kind of have to do a, actually, I feel like you have to do a little bit more than plant the seed. I think you got to be like overly obvious. I don't know why I'm feeling that way, but that's what they're, I'm getting. I think that you need to like literally like get in your person's face, like, and say, Hey, I, I, I like you or hey let's maybe we could meet up maybe we could do this I don't know I kind of feel like you have to make like a, a first move I don't know let's see I don't know if I would have the courage so we'll see jeez oh, here we go Lady Portia Divine Order do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. There you go. Maybe they're trying to push you out of your comfort zone by, by making this a little difficult to come together. Maybe they're trying to teach you, like, you got to step out of the box. Like, you, you live. Take the chance. What's the worst that can happen? This person rejects you? All right, so they reject you. There's going to be somebody else. There always is. Are you going to be disappointed? Maybe. But I, I'm not getting the feeling that this person would be hurtful or malicious. 
I think you're learning the lesson here. Camera. Is somebody in this relationship a photographer? Oh, I'm getting chills. Somebody must like taking pictures a lot. Um, reminiscing, making memories, learning from the past and perception. Uh, I think it has more to do with perception than anything else. Like this person might not perceive you as somebody who's available. I think you have to make it obvious that you are. And I think that you guys could make memories together. I'm feeling like somebody's a photographer. It doesn't have to be professional, but somebody who likes to take pictures. I'm, I'm getting it strongly, so I don't know if that's you or your person. I'm kind of getting it more towards this side. It's on my like my left side of the body because I'm looking at these cards upside down. So that's why I'm being pulled to this side. So I think your person's a photographer. But even if they're not, I still think it's about perception. All right, let's see. Ram, perseverance. You have many gifts. No problem can withstand the power of your mind. With patience, you can reach your mountaintop. Never give up and good luck will follow. Oh, well, there's your luck, right? So it's saying with patience, you can reach your mountaintop. So if you're climbing that mountain, if it's a struggle for you to make a first move or to let somebody know how you feel, to express yourself, this is saying just do what you can. Put one foot in front of the other because you're going to reach the mountaintop. That to me tells me that this person's going to reciprocate your feelings. Maybe they're just as hesitant as you are. Express your love. How, how much clearer can they get, right? Go ahead, make the romantic gesture. They're telling you to do it. They want, they want you to. So I feel like it would definitely be reciprocated. <sighs> Dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusion. I'm getting some kind of chills here. Um... So I feel like this is about the mystery. Like truth transcends illusion or the mystery. Like if you're honest, like it's it's going to change your reality here. So if you speak your truth, you might not be single. Right? It's it's going to transform it. So I think it's going to take away the mystery. I think it's going to and Sometimes I think mystery is good, but not in this case. This this case, they're telling you to be bold, to be blunt. So, um, yeah, take away the question. Is this person interested in me or not? Make sure that they know that you are. Uriel and the Sphinx. All right, Uriel, Archangel Uriel, what message are you bringing here? This card shows that it's time for you to do the most important and possibly the most difficult work in your life. The digging and inner discovery that takes you to deeper, to your deeper self and your deepest power. 
You may have to chip away at a rock-like acceptance of your old beliefs and history so that you can get to the truth inside. But don't worry, you have begun already and you've made consider considerable inroads. So this is saying they want you to step out of your comfort zone. They want you to be something more than you have been. They're, they're, they're pushing you here. They're pushing your boundaries. And in a very good way, though, they want you to they want you to be more comfortable um, being you, being true to you, and 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 expressing yourself and letting people know your true feelings. Communication. You can also be out on the lookout for someone in your daily life whom Uriel has sent. Don't diminish the importance of this phase. So, I think this is a major lesson for you. One that's meant to help you grow. Pull you some charms. All right, so we got your angels here. And we have your owl. So I think that's pretty much saying, like, you're smart enough to know what's going on. And make wise decisions. You also have the whale, and the whale is about magnificence. You're magnificent. It's also about communication. Express your love. It's also about protection. You're going to be protected while you do this. It's also about gratitude. Be grateful you have this opportunity, even if it's a hard one. And it's about wisdom and inner truth. Knowing what you want, knowing who you are, being brave. You do have the keys to success here. Look at this. You got the ring of keys and a single key. So you got a lot of keys there. And then he got the drum. Is there a person a, mu a musician? Uh, your person must be some kind of an artist. Because with the camera and now the drum, I kind of feel like they're some kind of an artist. They could be a drummer in a band. Um, I don't know. But, it, you know, whenever I pull the drum, it's always like, go to the beat of your own drum. Like, don't worry about what pe other people think. Just do it. Do what's right for you. All right, Pile 2. That's what I got for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. Because all those things really do help me. And I appreciate you for it. Till next time. Love and light. Hi Pile 3. If you chose Cherish Yesterday, then this one is your reading. Here we go. Eight of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Um, so I feel like you're nervous about this one. Um, you would like a new start or a start with this person and that they would be your dream come true, but you're worried that it wouldn't be reciprocated or you're worried you'll make a fool out of yourself or you're worried there's something you're worrying about so this is something that someone that you would like to be with that you think it would be a beautiful union but you are definitely definitely scared of this one and it could be that you're scared that they're going to break your heart So we'll see. Let's get their feelings. Justice. Ten of Pentacles. Nice. And judgment. Oh, I definitely kind of feel like this might be. This might. Might be somebody you are, have already been with. Judgment's a second chance. Now, it doesn't mean it has to be a second chance with your exact person. So 
if they want a second chance, it could be they just want a second chance at finding a love of a lifetime. They want a second chance at that. Maybe the first time they did it, 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 it didn't work out the way they thought it would. But with justice, well, it doesn't necessarily mean it's somebody from the past. It doesn't. Justice could mean that they just want to marry you. They want that legal. They want to make it legal. Or that you would just, you know, balance out their scales and it would become fair again. Like their life would feel fair. But Ten of Pentacles, that's the happiest card in the deck for me. For me. Um, The sun really is the happiest card in the deck. But for me, like the Ten of Pentacles is my favorite. So that's something long term, something solid. That's building a legacy together. That's that's really really something to accomplish. So I kind of feel like your person feels that way about you. Like So I kind of feel like you guys feel the same way. Except you're a little bit more scared than they are. All right, let's get the relationship. The moon Page of Swords, Page of Wands. I gotta be honest, that's not the best energy for a relationship energy. The moon is confusion. The moon is not seeing things clearly. The moon is, this could work, it might not work. And you got two pages, which are both kind of immature energy. You know, not like a king, which is very mature energy. Um, I'm getting the feeling that you both keep an eye on each other. With the page of swords, like maybe you've learned from each other. Maybe you've learned from the situation that you might have had in the past or you might have learned from your past situations. And the page is about being excited. So it could all just be that you're excited to see where this all goes. You're both excited about this opportunity, if there is an opportunity. Um, But there is some confusion, like maybe you guys don't know exactly how the other one feels or exactly what the other one wants out in life. Or maybe you're not sure if this is going to last forever. There is some confusion here. But I do kind of feel like you both want it. You both want it. Is it going to be long term? I don't know. It could be. But let's get some more cards and see. Muddled, unclear thinking. Somebody's confused. Family sorrow. Don't like that either. Um, so I kind of feel like you guys are not together. Or if you are, you're like kind of unsure if this is going to work. I, I, the potential's here. It could definitely work. It's here. What's the family sorrow? Somebody upset that this did not work out? I'm not I'm not 100% on this one. I don't know. It's so funny because so many times when I get the moon, so many times, they make my readings not clear. It's like, it's like that, that energy of that card kind of gets absorbed into me and I don't get a clear reading. And it's really annoying, but I think it's me attracting that because I, <laughs> I've noticed it a couple times and therefore I feel like every time it happens. Um, uh, let's get some more cards, okay? Because I'm... I am a little confused here. I'm confused by that family sorrow. Does that mean it's... The the only thing I am really getting from that is that 
if this is a past person and it didn't work out, like it upset your family that it didn't work out. Other than that, I don't know what that is. Making a difference. My inner light shines far and wide. Why do I feel like you make a difference in this person's life? I mean, if I, I'm. I, I'm, what I'm getting is I, I kind of feel like you make your person better. You make your person want to be better, to, to, to strive for more, to, to be more ambitious or something like that. I feel like you want to make your, per, you make your person want to be better. You're making a difference in their life. Or you made a difference in their life. I don't know. Let's get some more cards. I'm not going to butcher his name. Your soul con your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. So I, I feel like you guys are really connected. You guys definitely are some kind of soulmates here. Um, I, I kind of feel like this is meant to be, but I kind of feel like your ancestors are, are really pushing you guys to be together. Because you, you learn lessons together or you guys make a difference when you're together. Like you, you do good for the world, for the collective even. I, I don't know why I'm getting this whole um, charity thing. Like, like when you were together or when you are together, you guys do good for other people. Like other people benefit from you guys being together. That's kind of what I'm feeling from that card, which is strange. But that's what I'm getting. I am just, this is the craziest thing. Because I, I, I just asked, I was like, I want to see this person. Now, obviously, this is a collective reading, so I'm not going to get, like, one person's person. But I was like, I want to see them. Like, I really want to see them. And they kind of showed me, like, a shadow figure holding out his hand or her hand to another shadow figure. And then you guys joining hands and walking away together. And that's what I got when I asked to see your person. So again, it's, it's muddled and it is unclear. I don't know. I don't know what this is all about. I wish I, it was a clearer story, but it's fine. It's not terrible. It's fine. We have the dragonfly here. Lighthearted and adapt. Finding out and change. Things coming to light and heal. So things coming to light. What happens after the moon cycle? The sun comes out. So things come to light. I kind of feel like with this reading, something's either coming to light, like a truth is coming out, I kind of feel like that's coming out about this. I feel like something's coming to light about this relationship. Like you're going to understand how connected you guys really are. And maybe it wasn't clear before or it's not clear 
it, but it's going to be clear now. You guys are connected in such a soul binding way. Like um, there's like a heart link or something between the two of you. Why do I feel like you guys are really, really like, I, I, I don't know how to put this, I guess old souls. Like you guys have really grown together. Oh, I'm going to get some more cards. Cougar, assertive. In silence, you find power. Claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and the confidence to succeed. It's telling me that you guys are very, both very strong. And that you guys, if you guys could just do the right thing towards each other, you guys would be amazing. Like, amazing. Like, a power couple. Like, like, uh, uh, like two archangels coming together. Like, that, ha that that strong of a connection that strong of who you are on the other side that strong like you guys feel powerful i don't know strange reading but i feel like you guys are really deeply connected Really, really deeply. Calling in your soulmate. <sighs> yeah. You guys are connected. You guys are soulmates. Yes, we knew that. But I feel like it's... Like I feel like you guys lived a lot of lives together. A lot. I mean, to the point of where... You might not have lived a, 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 a life together for a while because you've lived so many lives together. But this time they're like, we need to be together in this lifetime. I don't know. It's just a, it's a, such a strong connection. Our spirit, you see clearly now. See, now that's kind of telling me that I'm on point. That I'm, I'm hitting this on the nose. That you guys are very deeply connected. And you guys see each other for who you are. Whoever this person is. Alright. The Initiation and the Count St. Germain, number 14. Well, St. Germain is, uh, well, let me just read. This card represents your initiation. It is much more than a change or even a transformation. It's nothing less than your movement into higher re revelations of power, insight, and achievement. And the time is now. This is like a leveling up. I think you guys are so old. <laughs> like, like I'm, I'm talking like almost angel status. Like I don't want to give that to uh, power to anybody. You know, I don't want to say that. But um, you guys are really leveling up. This was an important lifetime for you guys. Which tells me that you guys probably struggled a lot.
Some loss of lower vibrating relationships, jobs, or activities may be required in order to lift you to new heights and the power that awaits you. So this relationship's being elevated. So uh, whoever, you, if you guys are with other people, they're going to, they're going to, like you guys are going to be, they're going to be taken away. I kind of feel like you guys are meant to be together because you guys are elevating together. You guys make a difference in each other's lives. You guys are like, you. it's like for the good of the whole, for some reason, to be together. I don't know. I don't know. This was like a, a strange reading, but it's a powerful reading because this is a powerful, you guys are powerful. I know sometimes I can't articulate my my words correctly but if you guys feel what I feel like I kind of feel like you guys were angel are angels or something I don't I like, but it's like more than that it's more than just being an angel like it's very old very old ancient wise energy make a wish you have the key to success Here's your light bulb moment. Something's coming to light. Luck's on your side. Cupid's here. You guys are going to have a new life together. It's going to feel like a new life. It's going to be different. Put on those crowns because you guys kind of earned them. I feel like this has taken a lot of hard work to get to this point for you guys to come together. You guys must have put in a lot of work. You're definitely soulmates. And I kind of feel like this is your reward, your gift. After uh, maybe having a tough life. You got the giraffe. The giraffe is about awareness. Holding your head high. Seeing the bigger picture. Anyway, that's what I have for you, Pile 3. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. I really do. Till next time, love and light.